give it a little bit of beans here. Yeah, this thing just, look at that, this thing just pulls. Just really nice pull. Now, yeah, this is... Good morning everybody, welcome back to Peter's Auto Vlog. Today we're gonna get behind the wheel of this 2022 Ford F250 King Ranch model. Very excited to do so because obviously you don't find many F250s, especially in a higher trim like this King Ranch. The Super Duties are hard to find and there's a little bit more coming into inventory now into, into dealerships and especially here to Barto Ford. Well, I wanna give a big shout out to Barto Ford for allowing me some time with this Super Duty King Ranch model. Now, of course, guys, you know, very excited because obviously this is still, you know, this is the fourth generation of Super Duty truck here. We have the new one coming out. Obviously, the new one's gonna be coming out, particularly about spring, the new Super fifth generation uh, Super Duties, which looks awesome. But I wanted to get behind the wheel of this one. This one is still an awesome truck. You know, this uh, fifth, uh, fourth generation trucks are still a really great, um, you know, Super Duty truck, especially if you wanna tow something big. Now, this F250 camera that we have with us is done in an antimatter blue with the stone gray lower portion of the two-tone exterior color, which really looks nice. This is basically the way the King Ranch models come usually, but you can also get just a single color on these King Ranches as well. Now, this one here, guys, is equipped with the FX4 package, also the Chrome package, or the, what they call the King Ranch Chrome package, and also the King Ranch Ultimate uh, packages as well. Now, that King Ultimate package, package gives you, of course, all the chromes around and all the bells and whistles. You also have, as you can see, guys, we got the plumb, uh, well, as we open the door, we got self-deploying running boards as well. Now, this one does have the 20 inch wheels here, which are really nice. These are Raptors or Michelin, I believe they're 275 millimeter tires. Of course, you got uh, King Ranch chrome accents here as well on the logos. Uh, also mirror caps as well as you can see we got also your door handles as well that are chrome and a little bit of chrome here accent as well as you can see all around i really love the way this looks this anti-matter blue is I awesome you if you saw my other f-150 king ranch model it was also an anti-matter blue but i think it's one of the best colors you can get for this heavy duty trucks or this trucks as well now this one here guys is a quick with a 6.75 inch bed coming around here guys so you can see we got led lights as well that's part of that package we got of course here your sensors for for co-pilot 360s and the rear cameras and of course we got some more sensors more come here in the back of course you got your hitches are ready to go that is these are heavy duty tow trucks i'll put out information again later on of what these things can tow so really nice guys we're gonna take a quick look at it of course we've done uh, heavy duty trucks before or this uh, super duties as well uh, but see this keen wrench i thought it would bring it to you and take a look at this awesome looking truck now as you can see guys really love this chrome wheel it's gonna go well with the kind of color in this combination that it has and i uh, really love the way that you know this things still look much and obviously the new fifth generation looks much better very similar but obviously it's a completely new new uh, truck for ford uh but i can't wait to give me hand the wheel of the new fifth generation but this is still a really awesome truck now just a quick details guys here of course you can see the huge front chrome accents here on the front and up here on the grill guys for this king wrench we got a little bit of bronze as you can see combination of colors there because obviously this is a king wrench model of course this also comes this the king wrench ultimate model as well comes with led lighting of course high beams low beams we got daytime running lights and also some led uh fog lights as well so you can see we got a big chrome a bumper here of course also with the bars here as well the tow hooks so it really looks good really awesome looking truck and you can see guys we're gonna see that the color and now the sun is coming out a little bit we get a little bit of that 
metallic coming out through that anti-matter blue which looks fantastic all right let's go and check out the sticker on this truck as you can see guys this was a special order so somebody and this is the second time i see especially in a king ranch somebody ordered this king ranch models and they uh did not basically the customer did not go through the purchase so this is basically became inventory in their lineup which is kind of cool obviously you get to see and i get to bring you this trucks now this one here guys let's take a look at the sticker 2022 super duty uh single rear wheel which is basically this is i did a, a dual rear wheel if you see the video on that one as well but that was just much more that was a much more lower trim truck now this one you guys here is a 4x4 crew cab of course king ranch model obviously this one has a 6.7 liter power stroke turbo diesel engine the v8 turbo diesel with a 10 speed automatic transmission and of course this is done in antimatter blue with that beautiful java kingsville king ranch interior that we'll see in just a few moments now the options on this one as you can see we got the 6.7 power stroke diesel engine which is 10,000 about 10,500 we got the uh, 331 electronic locking axle for 430 uh, and of course we got the chrome package for $1,240. We got the off-road package for $495. We also come down here as well. We got the uplifter switches for $165. The uh, higher alternator for $115. We got a security pack removal for $50 credit. Uh, heated rear seats for $300 and the King Ranch Ultimate package, which is $3,800. Uh, excuse me $3,685 which gives you the running boards the, the basically the sunroof the panoramic sunroof and a lot of key features around as well and of course the led lighting as well so it's a pretty it's a good truck now obviously here guys the total price for this one is $87,515 now of course uh you know a big thank you to Barto for as well but they do have some market adjustment on this truck still considering they're not you know they're not easy to find this one has a market price adjustment of $5,000 so, you see, guys, so we're looking at a $92,500 15 dollar pickup truck obviously that's quite a bit of money for a, a super duty truck but uh, it is an awesome truck and then it's you know very rare to see so, so coming here to the back i have to have the key here with me as you can see it's a regular key a regular ford key and obviously this has the automatic basically cargo door bed or your bed door opening which is automatically lowers which is really cool now as you can see guys here we got the 6.75 inch bed now this one doesn't have any type of protection or anything like that we do have the window here as well we have a camera here for the back as so you can see the back of that and i don't see any connections at all here as i can see i'm looking for any connection this doesn't seem to me having any type of i've just got this connection for hooks and stuff like that but i don't see any power outlets or anything like that on this king ranch model which you have obviously you have the option as well so here do we will have to hear the steps so you can get up here easily here to the bed uh, which is awesome and this one doesn't have obviously the working bench here at all anything that for you that so but i don't know if that's even offered here on this up to 50s but obviously it's a, it's a good size bed obviously you can do it um you can put here around three thousand pounds of payload capacity i'll put that information guys for you up on the screen so that's basically what you can put here for payload on this f-250 especially the one this is uh, the way this is configured with the crew cab and the 6.7 liter power stroke engine so let's go ahead guys and put this up here i'm not too heavy of a board for the for the back and of course here we got the beautiful king ranch logo here with the super duty this is done in aluminum which really really looks really great now, of course if this is ready to tow it's just got the towing package i believe this one's uh, this f-250 is ready to tow about twenty thousand pounds but i'll put that information for you guys up on the screen uh to make sure i got the right correct numbers on that as well so really awesome truck that's where you look at it guys and i really love this antimatter blue so let's go ahead guys and uh, get to the front all right let's go and take a quick look at that power stroke diesel v8 let's go ahead and pop the hood and check it out as you can see the burn uh, running boards deploy automatically right, let's there, go ahead guys cool. and check out when i just go ahead and, and pull this little lever here and let the hydraulic shocks take over so they can raise the hood so here we have our awesome power plant the 6.7 liter power stroke turbo diesel turbocharged v8 now this is producing 475 horsepower 1050 pound feet of torque going to the all-wheel drive system via a 10-speed automatic transmission of course you can just activate a rear-wheel drive or all-wheel drive depends on what you guys are needs but this is an awesome engine lots of torque of course these are heavy-duty engines meant to tow a lot of things so uh, of course the other engine that we have of course is the v8 normally aspirated v8 as well i'll put that information guess for you guys on the other uh, engine options but awesome power plant what, what can you say of course these are uh, there's no really a uh, fuel rating that as the epa doesn't require them to report any ep fuel ratings but you're looking probably around 12 13 miles per gallon depending on where you are how what you're towing if anything like that so just kind of have an estimate of what people do but i'll put some numbers up what some other magazines have done in terms of fuel mileage for you guys so but there we go guys awesome power plant lots of torque and uh, let's go ahead guys and get this hood down i'm gonna grab this here it's just a little tough and bring the hood there we go 
All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at this beautiful Java Kingsville King Ranch interiors. Now, of course, this, are the, this is basically what you're paying for in the King Ranch models. Obviously, this beautiful darkish brown, you know, kind of light uh, darkish tan interiors. Now, of course, this is basically done from the Kingsville, Texas ranch, which is the biggest cattle ranch in Texas. Now, this is the kind of the colors theme that they have. Now, of course, Ford licenses this, those uh, colors and everything that they have, but this is an awesome interior. It's one of the best, I think, you can get. Obviously, if you're into this darker chocolate type of, you know, interiors is really awesome the way this is of course you can see the the running uh, w logo here which is really nice of course here we're coming in guys we got a little more cup holders here in the center armrest now these seats here in the back here are heated as well so we'll get inside in just a second as you can see this is uh option up with the panoramic sunroof because that's part of the king ranch ultimate package and uh, as you can see it's really nice of course all the material then this is real wood this is kaya wood that's included in this king ranch model which is really nice we got soft leather here all around as you can see a bit of a plastic aluminum but it all works well in terms of this interior the way they load it let's go ahead guys and jump in real quick here super really awesome and really roomy interior for this f-250 so you can see guys really special the way this is really really nice interior especially in this java interior it looks, looks fantastic of course we got the dark brown here with some piping as well here as you can see and the stitching that's done in the copper color which is really awesome couple of pockets here in the back the force i mentioned guys a little bit of chrome detail here we've got the lord running w here as well as you can see the interior of this f-250 really nice we got the 12 inch screen there of course the sunroof all kinds of toggle switches as you can see here for your accessories and of course coming down here we have ac outlets we got 12 foot connection your buttons for your heated seats and of course a 12 up uh, three holes prong here and another one here as well so we got a lot of connections here oh, this is the one I open. There we go. So we got quite a bit of connections here. 400 watt connections here, as you can see. And I don't think this pulls out. I don't believe so. But of course, we will have a big mat here as well with the King Ranch logo here, which is really, really nice. The carpet here. Awesome interior, guys. This is what basically what you pay for. And this is what's special about this King Ranch models, as you can see here, the real wood and that kind of stuff. So really elegant. And if, if, especially if you like this type of interior, as you can see, the headliner is also a dark brown as well, which looks really nice as well. So, but um, all right, let's go ahead, guys, and uh, get to the front. All right, let's go ahead and get into the driver's side of this F-250. As you can see, guys, the running board deploys automatically. Now, coming here, we can force you got the same type of leather, really nice. Of course, a really soft leather here. Of course, you got more some more Kaya wood here for your accents. A bit of plastic trim here as well for a little bit of aluminum painted. And of course, lots of things to put your phones and gadgets and whatnot here. Now, coming here, of course, we got controls for your mirrors, um, to mirrors, your window controls. Also, we got some, uh, basically some memory settings for your seats. That's this I think I believe there are 12 way power seats here for this beautiful job interior now come and in here, heading in see. and heading here guys inside of course we got the king ranch logo here on this cuff plate as you can see all the brownish colors continue here through the trim pieces here of course we got power seats here of course we got really beautiful seats so these are all the contour seats that's included in this truck of course we got a leather cover steering wheel we've got really a little bit more of aluminum here as you can see now the 4150 included a bit of wood here as well this one does not have it but uh coming here guys so we got a little bit of aluminum of course you got console for your lights and of course your mirrors and of course you got the power pedals as well as you can see we got some power pedals and of course you got the brake here also of course the wheel the, the wheel tilts and telescopes automatically as you can see there so really really awesome interior guys let's go ahead guys and uh jump in Beautiful interior now as you can see guys plenty of visibility in this truck really really nice especially with this panoramic sunroof gives you more light into this interior especially that it looks really nice and all the leathers feels fantastic especially in these colors now as you can see everything works really nice and well i mean the aluminum so we have of course the dark brown and that just all goes on top here in the liner uh really really all works well but uh, let's go ahead guys and uh get this uh f-250 started let's go ahead and start that power stroke diesel you can see very smooth very nice and quiet obviously uh really awesome you know let's go ahead and straighten out the wheel before we uh, close the door, let's go ahead and take a quick sound and hear of that power stroke diesel V8. Sounds really, really awesome. So let's go ahead, guys, and shut the door. You get a little more quietness. You can see all the wood and everything. It's really, really nice the way Ford has done it. Let's go ahead and put on our seatbelt. Sorry, guys, before we go on go the on. test, just a quick review of this interior. Of course, we got all the beautiful leather here. Of course, we got the running lovely logo. Lots of storage space here, of course, for not only for your things, but for cup holders. I do have my phone charging here on the wireless pad. A couple of USB connections, and this, of course, you can close it up. And there's some more Kaya wood here as well. Really, really good. Really, really nice details. Of course, dual sound uh, AC as well, as well as for the rear, guys. We got controls, basically three sound, two sound here in the front. We got cooled and heated teeth as well. We got heated steering wheel. And as you can see, guys, we got the 12-inch screen here, which controls all the stuff here. Let's go ahead and uh, that's just a charging, of course. We got a 10-speaker bang and also system in this truck. 
which sounds very, really nice. Very nice, the sound system. We got navigation, as you can see, guys. Of course, this has got uh, basically your latest sync four system as well. Uh, we got the nap here of course you got the other screen here to see your if you're pairing your phone or anything like that we got all kinds of controls now what's really cool about this truck guys we, if you go back to settings this truck of course we got all types of connections we got apple apple um, excuse me um android uh, auto apple carplay all that kind of stuff but we also have if you go to the seats we do have massaging seats as you can see guys so we go for the driver massage and you can do all kinds of settings lower rolling upper rolling and i definitely can see feel that in the back of my seat it's really really nice so um really liking uh what that is going on guys so really nice that you have massage seats as well which is an awesome feature and of course as, as i mentioned they cooled in heat as well so just coming to guys here you can see we got the glove box here uh, which is really awesome of course it's a brand new truck we got the upper glove box as you can see there as well and of course we got a couple of outlets here of 12 volt and a three prong so really really awesome the way this is guys coming in here of course we got basically your controls for your full wheel drift now right now we're in two high of course you got four high and four low big controller and of course your brake trail here assist or braking trail here to park really awesome of course this has also got uh, driving modes as well coming here to the center screen guys of course we got drive modes we got normal we got tow and haul echo slippery and deep snow and sand now of course guys, that's going to activate the 4x4 we're not in 4x4 right now but as you can see guys we got a really nice about six second inch screen here it's really nice to get all basically all your controls for all kinds of information here as you can see yeah we got the angles of off-road all kinds of things you can definitely do guys here and uh, you can activate your ford 360 here and change all the settings and all that you can do guys so let's go ahead and uh you got engine information to engine hours this is a brand new truck i see it's got 68 miles on it right now so we're just gonna leave it in digital speedometer so you guys can take a look at the speed so obviously really awesome interior guys so i believe this is basically something to do with the brakes or the engine braking here for that we got basically traction control off hazards so of course we got hill descent and here we got lane is here lane assist here that keeps you and of course the cameras so as you can see we got, we got front rear cameras all around here so we got a 360 view here as you can see guys and we can just hook up to all the different cameras here we do the front we have also split and of course we got uh, auxiliary cameras done as well we got a hitch as well and here's our bed camera so all kinds of different cameras you can do guys as well and if we pop this into reverse let's go ahead and do the reverse camera as you can see guys we got track lines and lots of cameras to help you back up your trailer and of course this has the ultimate trailer package and tow back and camera system that helps you integrate your trailer and back up your trailers much more easier and automatically right, as well uh, so. taking a look at up uh, taking a look up here guys of course you got toggle switches you can see guys we got lights and we got controls here for your sunroof and of course you can just press the lights here as well and uh really awesome the way it's just coffee gas home link here as well and of course the mirrors here as you can see so all right really guys before we go on for a test drive i think we, i forgot to show you this little center console here of course lots of space here to put in things we got a tow boat connection there as you can see and uh but that's about it guys so really awesome lots of space in this truck uh and of course i think probably the new f uh the new uh fifth generation super duty is going to have this thing that basically the workbench that the f-150 has most likely that's going to be in, uh, integrated to it i haven't seen lots of it on it as soon as we get some more information guys and uh, well, i'll put into the details but that truck's not going to come out till basically spring of 2023 so uh, but all right let's go ahead and go and let's try if this f-250 king of la king wrench with this 6.7 liter power stroke this one of course that's kind of all this getting behind the wheel of this power stroke this has always put a smile because this has got just hilarious torque level so uh forever whoever's not driven basically an f-250 with a power stroke this especially you know with even chevy and all that they just have a ton of torque and it's kind of fun especially when they're empty like this and there's nobody but you um i don't know how many people would drive this thing daily or something that'd be awesome but that basically your most fuel efficient truck or the most uh let's go ahead guys and make a u-turn here we can yeah, we're barely making here a basically u-turn but uh, it's not bad at all it does just make it through but yeah it's fun to drive these things lots of torque obviously this, these things are not the most uh i would say efficient or more uh elaborate things to drive every day because they're huge they're long it's every day but this uh, is a super nice day. truck as you can see guys the, the interior of this is awesome really love the way this is light and of course i was gonna my i was gonna get my hands on a platinum model uh but i think that was kind of already sold i didn't see it on the lot but uh this king ranch really is basically almost the same thing really awesome very elegant and feeling uh you know heavy duty truck we got a car coming here and this guy doesn't put a turn signal on just a couple of almost a lot of florida drivers here they don't put turn signals on sorry right, guys let's go ahead and test this out nice smooth transmission and you probably get to hear that diesel engine there a little bit let's go ahead and 
make a right turn. Now, of course, I need to put my turn signal there, so <laughs> laugh out loud, whatever it is. But so yes, if you put it down, this is just oh man, you yeah, have the torque on this is just instantaneously. Now, this is no eco, no electric car, anything like that. Of course, you feel the weight, uh, but uh, it does feel drive really nice, really, really nice to drive this heavy duty trucks. Now, look at this guy, no turn signals. And, oh god, this Florida drivers, my god, I can't believe it. But yeah, really nice torque. Obviously, being an empty truck, 1,000 pound, 1,050 pound feet of torque just easily gets up to speed. Now, obviously, this one here, guys, is equipped with the FX4 package. So it doesn't make the uh, ride very bouncy. It's more stable. As I mentioned that in my uh, F150 King Ranch, that one just had the regular 4x2 suspension. I believe there's a difference when they put this heavy duty or this heavy duty or off road shocks. And it's just a much better ride, to, in my opinion, of, as what I've experienced. And I'm not a truck owner by say but out of the short drives i give these trucks this is what i feel now obviously it's still a still rides like a truck it still you know feels a little stiff and uh but it's not driving this f-250 is not that intimidating i mean it's just driving like a slightly bigger f-150 but of course yeah this is much longer and of course depending on which model you drive as well of course you got an eight eight foot bed you can also put in these things um it just depends on how you expect your f-250 but really nice i mean this thing just full of technology i mean this is just an awesome truck to drive and uh, if we give it a little bit of beans here yeah this thing just look at that this thing just pulls this really nice pull now yeah the, the suspension is bouncy and now once you get up to speed but uh it's not bad at all to be honest Now the ride is it's smooth depending once you get the bumps and stuff yeah you can feel the bounciness and the truckiness to it but still an overall a pretty smooth suspension to be honest the transmission is very smooth the powertrain is really smooth as well uh you know there's not much road noise not not going fast but um road noise is pretty pretty down i mean i'm short ford in this uh maybe uh you know uh, much more a higher trims they might put a little more sun deadening on these things but it's very quiet uh, as you can see everything's at your fingertips now now as you can see guys everything's here at your fingertips but um really really nice the way it feels very stable i mean so far at this speed not driving this thing of course this is a big truck it is taking basically the whole lane so you know for those who don't like to drive anything big like this oh did you do feel higher so you, you kind of do feel in command on the road but obviously yeah you're sitting you're sitting high you know, a truck like this, which is, you know, it's got a high center of gravity. You gotta be careful, obviously, in turns and stuff like that. But um, these things are pretty quick, to be honest. So I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this. Uh, always have, always, they always bring a smile to my face. This Power Stroke Diesel V8s or any type of, you know, whether it's a Power Stroke or <laughs> what they call the Duramax, or basically a Dodge's uh, diesel as well. I forgot the name of it right now, but. So as you can see, guys, we got some flooding still from those hurricanes that's going down. We got a lot of trees down and stuff like that in this area. So this is kind of very close to where all the hurricanes kind of gone through the eyes. So uh, Ian and the other one, uh, what was that, Nicole, what, what, what it went through. So, But uh, really awesome, guys. Really love this F-250, especially in this King Ranch model. Uh, fantastic interior. I think this is probably one of the best interiors. I mean, you got, I mean, I don't know if you're a Texan, you're more of a country boy, but... This would definitely be a, an interior I would even love to have. This is a really beautiful interior. Um, I know this the taste is not for everybody, but I think this is still a very sharp interior, especially what Ford has done in terms of putting it together with uh, the aluminum accents and all that kind of stuff. Really, really awesome. And of course, this engine just pulls. So you can just put a little power to it. it doesn't rev, but man, this thing just pulls so nice and the torque just pushes you super nice. And you know, this thing is up to 70 pretty easily. So as you can see guys very smooth riding i mean uh you know this is more going about 60 65 and yeah still very smooth not a lot of wind noise not a lot of road noise uh from the tires pretty pretty quiet ride quieter than i and i have not driven in uh you know uh super duty in a little bit i did do the 2022 laria model about a year ago um but this thing feels i mean it doesn't feel bad it's not the ride at 62 63 i mean this is where most of the trucks are going to be riding on 
feels pretty smooth always it's a little bit jerry but very controllable and very nice no intimidation now there's a little bit of wind noise but very minimal i mean still a very relaxing ride obviously if you put your, your massage seats you got your heat i got cold seats running right now which is not really hot it's pretty mild today in florida uh what's the temperature today? 74 so i really don't need them but uh overall a really nice truck i mean the stuff to 50s you know ford's uh you know a pro on making these things fantastic trucks nonetheless obviously if you need to do some heavy hauling and a little bit of luxury a little bit of style when you take this thing into town or to go to dinner this is a fantastic truck to do it in so but let me know guys if you guys enjoy are enjoying this type of content please subscribe support the channel we're on our way to 1000 subscribers and i appreciate every one of you who's done that and i thank you for your support so getting better obviously you know doing my best to bring you all this information now this show was kind of sitting there i wasn't expecting this thing to be there i usually a little more prepared in terms of of knowledge of all the of the cars i'm going to drive that day but this was here kind of unexpectedly obviously this is as i mentioned this truck was a special order somebody ordered this truck the way it is unfortunately that client did not take or that customer did not take delivery of this truck so but i really like it whoever we were sir or, or ma'am did a great job of specking this truck sunroof we got all the perfect amenities now if you guys saw the f-150 king wrench that i saw that had no sunroof it had no it had basically the v8 model in it uh, the v8 uh, coyote motor in it and that had basically just a uh, basically two-wheel drive so not much to that uh, f king wrench so but i fantastic engines guys you know very obviously the, i don't know what the range on this thing i don't know if there's even a, what what your mileage is on this thing but considering what the you know just so much variation on if you're towing or not where you are what level if you're now in you know higher colorado you know altitude or here in florida we're at sea level I, basically your mileage depends on where you what you're doing and especially how you drive to as well because i know a lot of people here in florida that have these trucks tend to really push them this, and that's seeing a lot of people driving these things at 80 90 miles an hour and driving pretty much like you know they they're driving a sports car so but it all depends but uh awesome truck size let me know what you guys think of this f-250 now that we have the new generation of f-250 i can't wait to get behind the wheel of those once they come available um It'd be awesome to see them of course we saw them at for website i saw the presentation live uh but uh once you get to get your hands on one and see it i want to get a little bit of experience in writing this one this is beautiful i love this this king ranch models uh this is the first time i've seen a king ranch in an f-250 or a super duty truck here so let me know what you guys think would you guys uh, like this interior we prefer some platinum more like a darkish or i know the the platinum or the limited model is a top of the line model for f-150s and this heavy duty trucks as well so but um awesome truck guys let me know what you guys think thank you so much for watching let's do just a quick uh we just do a quick reverse camera check here real quick and let's come here to a stop we're gonna put this thing in reverse check out our rear camera so as you can see guys we got directory lens and of course we got the 360 camera here as well so this just backs up and the camera works excellent especially if you're gonna tow a trailer and as you can see there it goes the uh the sensors as well detecting the, the kind of the lower sidewalk there for the road so all right guys let's put this back on park let me know what you guys think of this f-250 king ranch i love it this is thing now of course if you saw the price this is a ninety two thousand five hundred and twenty five dollar truck so they're still adding some you know obviously some marking adjustments these are not you know basically available all the time as this truck's kind of kind of scarce. now there are some more inventory here at you know bar to ford a big thank you to them as well and i thank you once again to them for allowing me some time in this f-250 but uh, that's what it is that's what it is guys just the market things are coming down a little bit so but i'm sure that's going to be just you know those things are probably going to go away those market adjustments i will say within a few months so you know, of course depends on the vehicle as well so thanks so much for watching guys thanks so much for being here with me hope you guys enjoyed this quick review of this f-250 king wrench model really awesome interior as you can see guys really love the way this thing is and uh hit the like guys subscribe thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next video take care bye bye